Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a reflex angle. Now a reflex angle is an angle larger than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees. And to do it we're going to use a ruler and a normal protractor which goes from 0 around to 180. So the first thing I want to do is draw a baseline to measure my angle from. So I recommend doing a 5 centimetre line. Give yourself plenty of room on your paper. Okay, so we're going to choose the right hand side of the line because it's much easier to do because you use the outside scale on the protractor. So if you put your protractor on there, so if you notice your protractor only goes around to 180 degrees. So I'm going to put a little marker here. So we know it's 180 up to there. And then we're going to measure the extra bit. So to get the extra bit you just need to take 180 off 200. Which is 20 degrees. So we just need to measure an extra 20 degrees. So we had our protractor like that. If we turn it around the other way and just make sure you've got zero on that little marker there. So again, use the outside scale to do the extra 20 degrees, which is there. And then we can use our ruler to draw a line back to the end of that line. So this angle here is 200 degrees. So let's have a look at the second example, which is a little bit harder to do. So this time we've got to draw an angle of 312 degrees. So again, if we draw a baseline, so make it about five centimeters long. So choose the side of the line that you want to. So I'm going to go with the right again, because it's much easier to do. So if you get your protractor, put it on the right hand side of the line. So we know halfway around is 180, so put a little marker there. And we just need to figure out how much more we need to measure. So we can do that by taking um, 180 off 312. So 2 take away nothing is 2, 1 take away 8 we can't do, 11 take away 8 is 3, 2 take away 1 is 1. So we've got to measure an extra 132 degrees. So remember we had our protractor like that to start off with. If we spin it around like that. So we've got to measure an extra 132 on from that zero, which is here. And then if we join it back to the end of the line, And it's just marking that angle that we've just measured. So it's 312 degrees. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.